Okay, so in this particular video, I'm going to show this particular effect which is Ben PK used in his Thailand video. And I guess this is one of the most unanswered questions on the internet right now. So before that, I've just changed my microphone from Zoom H1 to Boya Lavalier mic. So do let me know down below how you guys think about the audio segments right now. So with that being said, this is the effect which I'm going to show. So before showing this exact effect, just let me explain what this is actually about. So just let me tell you this, that this is not an easy effect. This is a very, very complex effect. So I have not able to actually incorporate the entire effect in one particular video. Rather, I have made several videos like similar ones, which have the similar effects used in this particular video. And I want to just tell you guys which tutorials to follow so that you can make this exact effect. Just so you know, in this particular video today, I'm going to just show you guys how to move the ground like Ben TK. Like how we actually used to move the bricks in the ground and then create that particular effect. And the second part, the opening of the center portion of the ground part, it is similar to door tutorial which I have showed before this video. So the link is in the bio. Third part is how we actually made that glowing kind of a effect, like a glowing kind of effect on each and every texture of that particular video. So that effect is actually made through scribbling effect. So scribbling effect, I have not actually made any kind of tutorial for scribbling effect but i have given a link to a similar tutorial down below which you can watch and learn what is scribbling effect all about so and the fourth trick is how to actually create the glowing effect now the glowing effect is actually created on the scribbling effect itself but it is a bit complex also so i have given a link down below how to actually make the glowing effect i have already made one tutorial like this the glowing effect one so incorporate the same logic in this particular video as well okay so for this tutorial you need a kind of a clip where there is a flatless shot of a ground where there is a circular kind of a texture or any kind of texture for that matter so what we are actually doing is we are just masking each and every layer separately so that we can play with them later just like adding a motion blur to it adding some motions to it adding some rotation to it and all the stuff and at the end of the day all you need to do is you can add a zoom in keyframes on that particular clip and then place another clip below that clip so that you get a zoom in kind of effect or what you can do is you can just simply add a zoom in transition and add some motion blurs to it and that is pretty much it I am sorry that I could not cover each and every aspect of this particular effect in one tutorial because if I try to make in one tutorial then it will be a very very long tutorial like one hour or two hours so I don't want to make it so boring so in this particular video today I am going to just show one part and then other parts I am going to just link it down below so that you guys can know and watch it with your own time in so that you guys can watch it whenever you are free and just learn the process exactly so with that being said what's up guys this is Sammy here welcome to a new video first of all thank you so much for 5000 subscribers and with that being said let's get started Okay, so now I'm going to show for Final Cut Pro and this is the video which I have taken. It can be a picture also, it can be a video also, it is up to you. Now copy it three times and then unhide the upper two layers. Go to the effects panel, type in mask and drag the draw mask onto the lowermost clip. Now make a mask around this portion. And invert the mask. Now unhide the center layer, the middle layer and drag the draw mask onto this clip and make a point around this layer. Now compound this clip and drag the draw mask once more and draw a mask around this portion. And invert the clip. And now unhide the uppermost layer, drag the draw mask onto that layer and draw a mask around this portion. It is just that we are going to separate each of the layers of the ground into separate layers so that you can rotate them later. So make sure to make the masking properly otherwise it will not look good. Now just for testing this is how all the layer looks. Ok now compound each of the separate layers so that we don't have any problem with the masking later. Now go to the uppermost layer or the centermost layer, right click, transform and then in the display panel you will see a small circular point which is there in the center of the display panel. Make sure that the circular point is in the circular center of the ground like this and then change the edge of the anchor in such a way that the layer comes back to its original position. Go to the uppermost layer now. Now change the position of the center point in such a way that it is in the center of the circular ground 
Now change the anchor in such a way that the layer comes back to its original position. It is a bit confusing so make sure to repeat this step a lot of times. Now set a keyframe to the rotation and go a lot of frames later. And set the keyframe again and set it to around 360. Now do the same thing for the lowermost slip also. Set a keyframe to the rotation and the few frames later set keyframe again but this time in the opposite direction. Now we have a seamless kind of a rotating effect. Now go few frames later, set a keyframe to the position. Go few frames later and set a keyframe to the position and then change the position like this. Now you have this effect ready. Now I know that this is not the exact effect Ben TK used. He used a kind of a effect where the center portion actually moves like a door. So I made a door tutorial like that similar one before this video. So the link is in the bio, you can check that one out. Other than that, you can also zoom in transition to this and add another clip below all these layers. And then you can just zoom in along with the transition and the effect is ready. So that is pretty much it. Now I'm going to show for Premiere Pro. So this is the footage which I have taken. It can be a picture also, it can be a video also, it is up to you. Now copy this layer three times. Now go to the lowermost clip. Go to the effects control panel, go to the opacity and draw a mask with feather around 0 and draw a mask around this portion. Now invert this clip. Unhide the second layer, hide the other layers. Go to the opacity panel, draw a mask, feather around 0 and draw a mask around this portion. What we are actually doing is we are just separating each of these layers of the ground into separate layers so that you can rotate it later. Now right click, nest, ok. Now go to this clip only and go to the opacity panel again and draw a mask around this portion. Now invert this mask. Now do the same thing for this clip also, feather around 0 and draw a mask. And hide all the layers and this is how it looks. Now go to the uppermost layer. Right click, nest, ok. This layer, right click, nest, ok. This layer also, right click, nest, ok. So you have all these three layers. Now go to this portion, the center clip. Double click on the screen and you will see one blue circular point at the center of the clip. That is actually the anchor point. So what you need to do is just drag the circular clip in between the circular region of the ground like this. It is actually the anchor point where it will rotate, the oriented point. So it will rotate around that particular point only. So set a keyframe to the rotation, go few frames later, set a keyframe to the rotation again and set it to around 360 and just drag it later so that it looks more seamless and more natural. Now do the same thing for the second clip as well, set a keyframe to the rotation. But before that just change the anchor point for the second clip as well. And then set a keyframe to the rotation. Go few frames later, set a keyframe to the rotation again and set it to around minus 360, the opposite direction. And you will see this. The effect is almost ready for this particular tutorial, but it is almost half of the actual tutorial which Bendik actually used. So right now set a keyframe to the position, go few frames later again, and then change the position like this. I know this is not the exact effect which Ben TK used. He used a kind of a opening effect, opening of the door effect. So in order to do that particular effect, I have already made a tutorial on how to open doors without touching them. So the link is in the bio, you can check that one out. And in order to create the glowing kind of a effect which Ben TK used in this particular effect, the glowing effect is actually divided into two parts. One, how to glow. And the second one, how to add the scribbling effect. The scribbling effect, the link is in the bio on how to do that. And the glowing effect is made by me. I have a tutorial on that one also. The link is in the bio. So all total, you need to see around four to five tutorials for this particular effect only. But the effect is actually very complex. So it is worth it. It is worth your time. 
if I try to make it in one video then it will be around one hour or two hour video so I don't want to make it that much boring so you can just take your own time and watch the tutorials separately and understand better and keep on practicing this otherwise it will not look good thank you so much for watching guys hope you have liked the video if you're someone who is interested in cinematography photography and filmmaking then join my channel the right right type thing for you to do so come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can and do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today Peace.